Yeah. It's the song of Moses, baby. That's gonna be a beautiful song. Our little Israelite princess is gonna be with us. What the Lord gonna put in their spirit? You know what I mean? He said they're wicked now, but the Lord gonna change them, and we're gonna be changed. So the women that get saved, what is they gonna get changed? You know what I mean? The children too, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna be in complete, hundred percent total order. Nah, y'all ain't gonna be uh, they gonna be uh, sitting on thrones. You remember IUIC's girls? Uh, my fault. But they they said that they was the hundred forty four thousand. He just read it. He already read it. Now change. Oh no, he says. Yes. We didn't read that yet. Now we didn't. Okay. I'll be back. Here we go. This is Zechariah 5 and 1. Then I turned and lifted up my eyes and looked and behold, a flying robe. A flying robe. Okay, I got you. Check it out, Zechariah 5, I'm gonna start at the top again. Then I turned and lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a flying robe. And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying robe. The, fit, the length thereof is 20 cubits, and the breadth thereof 10 cubits. Right, because if you get on YouTube, uh, look up UFO sightings, there's like the three main UFOs the people be seeing. One is, they look like a ball of light. Another one is a road. It's like a cylindric, yeah, cigar-shaped uh, object flying through the sky. That's that's one of the main ones. They got a lot of them on, on camera, on video camera. Awesome. Aliens? No, no, we're trying to prove it. What is it? What is it? The the well, you know what? Hey, this ain't for everybody. It I should be. No, 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 no. It it's not for be. everybody. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. Listen, listen, bro. You know when the Lord when the Lord was getting crucified, don't you know it was it was Israel, our people, that was saying crucify him, crucify him. Our people. Our people. That was that saying crucify him, crucify him. So this ain't for everybody, man. The Lord scripture. condemned those devils, man. First of all, them devils said that his blood be upon us and our children. That's what these devils say. All people, right? The Romans, the Romans physically killed him, but the Lord Himself. You got to remember, He said the ones who He told Pontius Pilate, He said the ones that delivered me into your hands had committed the greater sin. This is proving that it's not for everybody. Romans 11, 5. Even so, then at this present time, also there's a remnant according to the election of grace. Wait a minute, a remnant? That's a small amount, you know? So, wait a minute, Zechariah 13 says that two-thirds of our people is going to be killed. So this ain't for everybody, man. The Lord said many are called, but few are chosen. Wait, we ain't choosing no, nobody. 
we just warning you. We're just warning you. No, we be choosing the hell out of you. But we just proving a point that uh, it's not for everybody. Cause like you know, what I'm saying it's not for everybody. You know what? The message is for everybody. Though. This message is for everyone. That's why we out here. It's, but it's, look, part, we are part of the message is the Part of the message is the See? Part of the message is the demon. That's for how they make mockery of you. Go, my girl. Check this out. This is John 17 and 9. It says, I pray for them. Them is that elect. I pray not for the world. I'm reading the scripture here. This is, a, this is the New Testament too. No, I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me. The for Lord said that? Oh, yeah. Why is he not praying for everybody? Because it ain't for everybody. <laughs> I guess the Lord's an asshole. That's what they were calling. You know what I mean? That's right. So they call him a devil. They could they, they, they call they, him a devil. You can see that they call us devil. He calls you the message. Right? Yep. They don't like that he message. The message. Go ahead, bring it up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to Romans 11, I'm gonna see 7. What did Israel have not attained that which is seeking for? Israel have not obtained that which is seeking for. But the election have attained it. The elect. Now what the word elect? That means you know uh, uh, an election. Not everybody wins the election. They got a presidential election. Only one guy gets elected. Don't everybody get elected? Because the word elect means a, a select few. Just a small, uh, you know what I'm saying? It ain't everybody. Go ahead. And the rest were blinded. And also the word elect is uh, is related to the word elite. They both come from the same root word. The elite, elect, you know what I mean? Yeah, it, wait, read that one part again, though. It says, Romans 11 and 7. What did Israel have not attained that which he seeking for? But the election have attained it, and the rest were blinded. The rest were blinded. So the Lord smitten these fools with blindness, so but they can't are, see. What's, what are they seeking for, though? You know? The wisdom, knowledge, you understand? Well, that goes into a lot of uh, our people. They, they think they're spiritual. They try to be spiritual. But they, they don't want to accept the right path. They want to go on their own path. Trying to, you know what I mean? Trying to make their own route and their own path. Some niggas like Farrakhan. Farrakhan. He was Farrakhan. Yep. Jesse Jackass. They don't, don't want to listen to the proper instructions. He's not coming back for those who ain't going to hearken to the word. He's coming back to kill all these, you know what I'm saying? Jesse Jackass. That's right, Jesse Jackass. Or Al Charlotte. Did they say he was involved in Al Charlotte? And they say he was involved in MLK's assassination. Yeah, he was. That's why he didn't wear the tie, because he knew the shooter was not the aim at the one without the tie. No. There's a devil killing the devil. That's right. That's a sacrifice. They're called sacrifices. Man. And then they marked the thing anyway. Michael King. Oh, I'm going to kill Michael King. I know. I know the Sodom. I know the Sodom. He was a devil. And the funny thing about him too is this initials is MLK, which is Moloch. Well, it means king in Hebrew, but you know, we can call Moloch the devil. You know what I mean? Well, he had that code name Mark. Yeah. Yeah, he was part of the New Age Society. He was set up. I'm gonna look it up. He was set up. His name is Michael Kill. This yeah. devil killed us leaders to follow that. Yeah, uh, yeah, Martin Luther King was part of the Sigma Pi Phi uh, fraternity. A homosexual. Yeah. Homosexual. Fact. Yeah. Child molester too. He had a picture of the Rothschild. <laughs> <laughs> that crazy man. Yeah. He kept a picture of Gandhi on his desk too. He wore the Rothschild saying, I had a dream. And that Jeremiah uh, oh, yeah. 20. Zechariah 13 and 8, and it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. That's two part that's two thirds. That's a 66.6%. .6 Everybody gonna get put to death. Of all Israel gonna get put to death. That's great. That's not even counting the heathens. You know what I mean? I need to count. But the third shall be left therein. And I will bring the third part through the fire. Thermo nuclear missiles. Hey, that, hey, that's something to meditate on right there. That's right. Well, you, you won't be part of that one third of the two thirds. That's a good question. 
You don't want to be part of that two thirds club. Very good question. That's why we do what we do, but we don't want to be part of that club. We don't want to have that membership, you know what I mean? That's right. So you better get out here and do the labor. And I will bring the third part through the fire, and I refine them as silver is refined, and I will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them, and I will say, it is my people, and they shall say, the Lord is my power. Yep, that's how we say it too. You say your how about some your house size off power. This mesh is cool. It's rough. It's rough and rugged, man. So what just like what you quoted earlier, those that are offended in this word, man, is going to have their share in that lake of fire. As far as the, the scripture says, the Lord is an austere man. Austere means rough, severe, strict, mean. The Lord. Yeah, who said that to him? Uh, Zacchaeus said that to him, didn't he, or something? Betty Boop? Yeah, who the hell wears a Betty Boop jacket? He probably got him for free. That's all he, all he, all he got. I believe it. Isaiah 66 and 14, it says, For behold, Yahweh shall come with fire with his chariots like a whirlwind, to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flame of fire. To yes, say, it. render his love. No. My bad. Go ahead. Oh, no, you're wrong. You got it. To say, render his love. You know, because he ain't coming with that love. He's coming with anger. The man is pissed. Him. Just three days ago, the man was crucified and they beat the shit out of him and spit on him. You know, threw piss and shit on him. You know, and it was tripping him. So the man is pissed off. So he's coming back pissed off. He didn't, they, they, they didn't take him to heaven and cut off the cuff meal. Calm down, my son. Calm down, my son. You know? Go ahead, man. Says, uh, Isaiah 6, 6, 6, 6, For by fire and by his sword will you how us we with all flesh. By, his, by fire and by the sword. By, that's a man of war they describe, man. That's a man of war. A man of war likes to shed blood. <laughs> Hey, the Lord did say in the book of Revelation, it said that he's going to tread that wine press. And it said uh, mm. his, he wore that uh, white garment that was dipped in blood. Mm. What's that sound like? That sound like a cannibal before. It's like he was just stomping. Just right. He did so much killing, he's covered in blood. So what people, what book, what book are these people reading in these churches? They ain't read no book. They ain't read, they they ain't read, read nothing. They teach you what happened first and go on about what going on at their mama's house on Thanksgiving. Right, right. And they got to be real. Yeah. Got cut up, you know what I'm saying? Then the show begins. Yeah. Then the show begins. Yeah, the church needs a new roof. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the church needs a new roof, right? Yeah. That's how they do it. Yeah. But send that offering plate around one more time. You know what I'm saying? But he's speaking churches, you know what I'm saying? All the hymn books. The pastor is a homosexual. That's right. The preacher. You know? And he's adultery. And a right, right. Like babies with little uh, young girls and shit running around the church. You know, dwell in places with my man's hands, man. Y'all understand that. You still want to go to these churches and believe in this good bullshit. Luke 19 and 21, for I fear thee, because thou art an austere man. Thou takest up that thou layest not down, and reapest that thou did not sow. And he said unto him, Out of thine own mouth will I judge thee, thou wicked servant. Thou knewest that I was an austere man. <laughs> yeah, because the Lord's an austere man. Austere means strict. Straight, it means uh, stern, authoritative, you know, hard. The Lord is a man of war. He ain't nobody to be played with, you know what I mean? It's just entertainment to him. The, the Lord is not like, uh, they did depict him as like some kind of hippie or something, you know what I mean? The Lord is not a hippie, he's a man of war. Soft-spoken hippie. Soft-spoken, Right, the Lord is not soft-spoken. 
don't got hair like a dog. You ain't no soft dude. We can prove he ain't uh, one soft spoken either. In the book of Revelation said he had a voice of many waters. You know what I mean? A very rough, loud voice. That's why he was able to uh, do that Sermon on the Mount to speak to thousands of people because he had such a loud voice. You know what I'm saying? If you hear the Lord speak, you probably get scared. Here you go. Revelation 1 and 15. And it speaks like unto fine brass and it, as it burnt in the oven, in the furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. Right. So, man, that's a loud, rough voice. Yeah. When the Lord, when the Lord spake, people shut the hell up, man. They got scared. Right? Hey, and that's why the Lord gave us his spirit. Because people come out here and they get mad. They be like, well, y'all y'all talking too loud. Why you talking at me like that? They be like, you know what I mean? You know, people, they get, they get, they get, they so easily. Calm down. Yeah, they be like, calm down. Like, this is just how we talk. You know what I mean? When you find out you're the righteous in authority, you don't speak like a man. Because Jake and Jen don't got that loud voice like that. Because, you know, like that's why Esau gets scared when Jake talks, he's loud. You know what I mean? Confident, loud. You know what I mean? Talking to what he's saying, man. Y'all look to these white man's laws, Esau's laws, you know what I'm saying? Things okay to be gay. You can marry another man, you can marry an animal. I said, fuck that bullshit. You might want to fight from back and get one of y'all. Believing in that shit. Hey, that's one reason why I don't have a black woman got so many people scared of her because she talks loud. Yup. You know? Yeah, even an Israelite woman talks loud. She talks loud, man. That's repent. You hear the heat. You hear the turn away. You know, repent means to turn away from your sin. That's true. Hey, the Israelite woman is more of a man than Esau. <laughs> she, 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 she'll take. beat the shit out of Esau. <laughs> right, that's true, right? I3. That's the I3. I3. Original model. <laughs> that's the original model. That's a collector's item. <laughs> yeah. You gotta get a laminated. <laughs> you gotta get a. Uh, what's the why they do the comic book? They get they seal them up in that plant and give it a rating. Lamination. You know, I forget what they call it. <laughs> well, you boy got a, a, a radiation detector. Like, uh, <laughs> Timothy McVeigh's cousin. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this mic. Look at this mic. I three. Look at this mic. 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 Look at this the Israelite woman is like a tarantula. That's a good analogy. She gonna get you in that web, boy. She gonna come up. Black widow, either either person. Very few motherfuckers get away. I got praying mantis. That's a stupid motherfucker. Nigga know that bitch got AIDS and they still go. They like fuck it. I'm like, I'm done. He know he's about to get eaten. He just don't want to get that out. That's crazy. That's a bad shit. And niggas lose their mind over busting a nut, man. Don't they though? They lose their mind over busting yeah, they want, a nut. Then once you get it, yeah, yeah, you, you good. You hooked. <laughs> once you get that first nut, the rest of your life you're gonna be thinking about it. Oh no, I don't I just want her for her mind and personality. <laughs> right? Yeah, you know. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that happened. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. And they, they post on the internet for that. She's a boy. Not a sex mate. She's a boy. She's a boy. She's a boy. She's a good child married. Right, yep. Nation, you know what I'm saying? For leaders. Hey, that is a good woman is ready to have a lot of babies. Yeah, the ones too. Cause yeah, most of these live women don't want to have children. That's real. They be like, I'm not ready for children yet. That's real. That is real. It's just real. Oh, let me get you got bitches going and get getting their tubes tied and all that. You know what I mean? Just so they can keep having sex. You know what I mean? Not get pregnant. That's totally against nature. Take pills. Sure. Yeah, take a pill. That be messing their mind up and body chemistry up.
um, Timothy 2 and 15, notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing if they continue in faith and charity and holiness with sobriety. This ain't no time you have a children, though. Because when all hell breaks, you don't want to be fighting, you know, to feed that child. That, that child's going to be crying and shit, man. That, that's Matthew 24. Yeah, that, that, that child's going to be crying and shit, man. You want to, you want to, you trying to lay low. UN troops and NATO troops going to be marching. You're going to see two thirds uh, two third vampires, you know, lurking. I was you, thinking you, you about. Quiet, I was thinking about that the whole time my son was real little. You know what I mean? Right, like, right, man, right, this right. shit goes down now. It's gonna be rough. They get close to fighting. Yep. Well, they actually, almost, they are. They, they they're getting up there. They're pretty much there anyway. Actually, at their age, man, they they quick to kill quicker than the older person, man. <laughs> For real, you know. Yeah, it's gonna get scary out here, man. We gonna have to go in survival mode soon. Yeah. You know? Go ahead. That's what we were saying that when our redemption drawing out from UFOs come back, there's so much hell gonna be going on, man. When we look up, we're gonna be like, we're gonna drop our knees like, oh, you know, thank God. Well, thank you. How much you shot? He's here, you know. Y'all hear uh, even uh, all the uh, all the experts saying that crash is coming soon. Coming even though the stock market has hit the all time high, it's all bullshit. Yo, that's just that's just smoking mirror, you know. It's just uh, Alan Greenspan, the former uh, Fed chair. Came out and said that the big crash is coming. That's from Alan Greenspan, the former uh, head of the Federal Reserve. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming. It's all set up. The guys are being desperate. Yep. It's been it's time. Been it's it's past us inside. It's been time. 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 Yep. That's perfect. It's time. It's been time. Russia said today they're speeding up the process of dumping that dollar. Make sure that you. They're speeding it up. That crash is coming. Ain't going to be no. Uh, 24 hours, McDonald's and White Castles, man. All this shit gonna be shut down. Man. It's uh, time for the people shit. to start. Yep. We warned them years ago to start fasting. No, it's good. Go. Get you know, go for that. Go for that. start eating your vegetables and start fasting. You know, we've been kept, we've been pushing this for years now, man. So when that time comes, we just, you you gonna have to, you know, lay low. We ain't gonna be able to go out there and get up by a black bottle of water. You know. You're gonna be sustained. You're gonna from the You're gonna be sustained. You're gonna be, you're gonna be sitting back chilling. But then again, then again, the Lord, gonna, he gonna, he, he's gonna look out for the elect anyway. He gonna look out for. We, we don't know how. You don't never know. He can give us some manna. We gonna be on the run, man. We might just be kicking the door, hit the house, and it be. You know, be full of, yep. Right? That's how the Lord do. You. I ain't gonna be looking for food. I'm on. I'm on with the sun. Get some water. Food ain't nothing. Food is easy to find. It's easy to live without this food, man, because it don't nourish you anyway, so you ain't missing nothing anyway. I live off plantain and dandelion. <laughs> well, eat dandelions, boy. That keeps going. I hope this don't happen in the winter. There ain't going to be, yeah, gonna be no dandelions in the winter. Hey, that's a subscription spirit, though. Let's bring that up. And the birds going to be flying north or wherever they go, south. Oh, I said the birds going to be eating good, though. <laughs> yeah. All the people dropping dead, the birds going to eat nice. They're going to be getting so fat. right now, the weather changing the weather, you know what I mean? Yeah, they didn't. I just noticed in the winter time, birds didn't know they it's time to go or not. They like, what the hell? Yeah, they confused. Yeah. Yep. They confused. Yeah. They confused. We saw it. the machines, these chemtrails, all that blue machine. He's just getting ready for World War III, man. That's all he's doing. He's just getting ready for World War III. And getting ready for World War III, he's disrupting things, man. Especially all the war machines out in the oceans, you know, shooting them sonar and yeah. all That's fucking yeah. the fish. Yeah. Fucking all the fish up, man. They, they, there was a video up another day, killer whales beaching themselves, man. Not killer whales, great white sharks, man. Great white sharks was getting the hell out the water. Plus they, all that radiation from yeah. Fukushima. So who knows what this devil's doing, man? Well, all we know, this white man gotta go. Esau got to go. Gotta go. Got to go. Got to go, got to go, go sometime soon. Go. This devil got to go. Especially when the birds hate the white man. The trees, too. The trees, the ground. <laughs> Yeah, he saw haste the birds. Yeah, stop, you know what I'm saying? Like, like planting right. stuff. You supposed to let the ground nourish itself. Let the rain and everything cleanse the earth. You know what I'm saying? They, they, Man they, they so greedy. Man They're so greedy. They want everything for themselves. They destroying everything. Just like the scriptures say, even when they have their little farms and they go through the harvest, they don't leave not one grape on the vine. You know what I mean? They take every. They don't leave nothing for the poor. Everything costs money. You know what I mean? That's crazy. That's crazy. 
crazy. Hey, hey, he got his script. He's been waiting for like a half hour to bring I got some. Okay. It's a time to say time. It's all the same. Hebrews 12 and 16. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. Yeah, yeah, Esau is profane, man. He he got he got he don't care about his life. He don't care about nobody else's life. Dallas, he was like, uh, what we do with somebody that you know sold his birthright for that uh, over to fucking meat? You know what I mean? That motherfucker rules the world, so you know, now look at the world. In the ancient world, your birthright, the firstborn was like excited about it. You no. Know? It's a inheritance, man. Yes, a spirit of Satan knows the, the only care about your uh, physical being, you know what I mean? Right, man. That, that's, the, that's all Satan. The whole principle is uh, Satan. Right. For you know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected, for he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully. 